Today we have a just a tiny smidge of Tears of the Kingdom news coming from a retailer and also something that I know some people did notice back when the trailer debuted, but honestly, I didn't notice it till today. So a feature that is factually part of Tears of the Kingdom is going to be discussed in this video. It was revealed in the trailers. It was hidden. Again, not going to say I'm the first person that noticed this. I know others did, but it hasn't been talked about in a long time from what I could tell just searching the internet. So I'm going to bring that up again today. <laughs> First off, let's get into what we're talking about with the retailer news. So Micromania is a popular online retail outlet in France. And today they updated their page for Tears of the Kingdom. And it's quite in-depth. It's got a trailer playing in the background and all of that. But when you scroll down the page, you see some additional information. And yes, I'm using Google Translate for this. So first off, the insight section says, immerse yourself in the captivating universe of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Available from Micromania. Play as the hero in this thrilling action adventure game and help him save the kingdom of Hyrule from the forces of evil. With stunning graphics, smooth gameplay, and challenging puzzles, this game will keep you hooked for hours. The storyline of this game takes you on a journey through the kingdom of Hyrule. During your adventure, you will meet many interesting characters, fight fearsome enemies, and solve intricate puzzles. The gameplay of Tears of the Kingdom is rich in action and challenges. You'll use a variety of weapons and tools to defeat enemies, solve puzzles, and explore vast and detailed worlds. The game also offers plenty of customization options, allowing you to customize your gaming experience according to your preferences. Don't wait any longer to live the ultimate adventure in the world of Zelda. Buy The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom now at Micromania. Now, look, this doesn't tell you a whole lot, and there is a feature section as well that just basically summarizes everything that has already been stated. There's nothing else on this page, but the interesting part, obviously, is the customizing the game to the way you want. This could be talking, obviously, about the gameplay, like Breath of the Wild, of course. You know, you could wear different outfits or wear, use different weapons, and it could be that sort of customization. It also could end up being a user-friendly option or a handicap option. Maybe there is some additional controls in here. Maybe even things like changing the color space for some people who have certain types of color blindness. So there's a lot of different things that could be talking about in here to customize the experience. Some people might theorize motion controls versus not having motion controls like Skyward Sword HD, but that's a debate for a different day. That is what this website is saying, and again, I don't know if they really have any additional information. Most of this description is pretty generalized, and maybe customization is just a reference to Breath of the Wild, but it is something out there on a website that's really well built and from a retailer that is going to be selling this game and they get their copies directly from Nintendo. Sometimes we do get little retailer information leaks like this, like Amazon description pages and stuff like that that occasionally give us more. This is the first time we've heard about customization options. So again, while it could be a reference to the prior game, it is the first time we're hearing about this, and that's one, one reason why I wanted to bring it up. Now, another thing I wanted to mention today had to do with a prior trailer and this has to do with just something that's in the footage if you zoom into this little island section in the footage you'll notice a line that seems to be going from one island to another island that's off camera and hidden now this line has been speculated in the past to mean many different things is it a zip line is it a grind rail i wonder if it's maybe like the carts that we get in the goron area where on the other side of that line is a cart and we can drop a bomb and we can kind of ride a mine cart or something like that because it does look like it's a solid metal-like structure. This is clearly a way of quick travel between the islands. Of course, obviously, when you're on a higher island going to the lower one, you could just glide down. We've seen the sailcloth is in the game. However, maybe to go back up, we don't have Rivali's Gale or any sort of ability like that or the ability to light things on fire that raise us high enough so then we might have to get on that rail and ride it back up of course it could just be a moving platform and that's the rail the platform's on we've seen rails with moving platforms in breath of the wild there's a lot of things this could be we just don't know what exactly it is so it uh, the, the one thing we can speculate on is i think it's clearly a way of quick travel 
between some of the islands. Now, what's interesting is it's not like this rail system looks super intricate and like it goes between all these little islands we're seeing. So it doesn't look like it's something that's going to exist for the entirety of sky exploration, but it might be there to maybe go from major zone to major zone in the sky, at least ones that are really close. Obviously, when you're looking at one that's a mile off, there's probably not a giant rail system connecting something that far away. Then again, maybe there is. We haven't really seen a lot of this game, and that's what makes this type of stuff fun. The speculating on, does the customization thing mean anything? Does this rail mean anything? Because frankly, we don't know a lot about Tears of the Kingdom. Like, we have theories out there that this is going to be the final game for Zelda, and that Zelda's going to die and not, not be reincarnated in any way. Or that this is the last game for Ganondorf, and it's the end of him. Or Demise is coming back. Or this is just, like, the beginning of another, like, five games coming up. Or the Zonai are going to do some crazy things. Or the Goddess Hylia is coming back. Or fee fi fo fum Like, there's so many theories out there. Because of the lack of information, this rail or whatever this is, is a real thing. But what it is exactly, what it means, the method of travel, that is obviously highly speculative, as is what that retailer page says out of France. So what I want to do is have you guys go down into the comments down below and let me know what your favorite method of travel would be to go between the sky islands is it simply going to be jumping and flying with the sailcloth would you prefer a teleport system obviously we know with shrines and stuff we got to teleport all over in breath of the wild but what if this is a different one like an aimed teleport type system would you like to see you know mine carts be up there like we saw in the goron area or some other new form of travel you guys let me know what you would like to see i know someone one of you is going to say you want to just fly a loft wing. I hear you. I also wouldn't mind taming one of those flying dragons. I think that would be pretty sick, wouldn't it? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. I'm just one man talking to the crowd. You guys let me know your thoughts on this and that retailer stuff for Tears of the Kingdom. Is it, you know, exciting stuff? Is it something new? Or is it just a bunch of generalized terms that mean a whole lot of nothing? Could be either way. Hopefully we find out this week with a Nintendo Direct and a blowout for Tears of the Kingdom. That's what we're crossing our fingers for. But we don't actually know, right? Right? I mean, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know. One of you has an uncle that works at Nintendo, right? One of you, your uncle, wait, no, your father is Doug Bowser, isn't it? You know, don't you? Just holding out on us. Oh, by the way, Nintendo does have a financial meeting tomorrow, so we're going to get a big update on the Switch sales and the sales of Pokemon and stuff, so you guys can look forward to a video on that tomorrow. We'll be back live streaming again tonight, and if there's any other breaking news, you know we'll be right on top of it right here with a new video today. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.